Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd just do a little bit of an update. Uh, my last video regarding the Battle.net installation, uh, I mentioned that uh, I was having issues with Debian. Um, now Battle.net did um, issue an update to their Battle.net application, I believe on either Thursday or Friday. Uh, so I did some installs last night and what you're looking at here is a Sparky Linux XFCE install where I was able to get Battle Networking fine using the procedure that I outlined in the video. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's something that Sparky is doing. I did test it on other Debian distributions uh, and was not successful. Sparky um, for whatever reason I was successful so if you're looking for a Debian distribution uh, you can't do any better than Sparky now just let me say I was also able to get it working with MX15 so um, so if you if Battle.net is important to you and you want to run Debian uh, you you have a choice Sparky Linux or uh, MX15 either one is a terrific distribution now I just wanted to go over a couple of other things um, one is that I came across if you use Gmail uh, which I do um, you may be interested in this I came across a uh, an announcement of a, a Gmail a Linux Gmail web application for either Gmail or Google Inbox. It's available cross-platform for Linux, Windows, and Mac. You can download it. Uh, there's an article uh, at Web Update. Um, this is it right here. So if I double click this, you'll see um, if you run more than one, if you run more than one Gmail account, as I do, it makes it pretty convenient because it stacks them on the left side. Now it's really nothing more than a, than a web app. Uh, it's pulling up exactly what you would see if you pulled up Gmail in a browser. Um, but it does it does have the ability to combine accounts and make them easily accessible rather than having to go into a uh, browser where you would have to keep pulling them up from the top right hand corner uh, which is what I have been using um, I like there are a few email applications uh, within Linux that I have tried and I'm not really crazy about any of them as far as Gmail is concerned I've tried Thunderbird I've tried N1 Nihilus um, I've tried Claws Mail uh, and I'm not really I've, I've tried evolution I'm not really happy with um, any of them to be honest with you so I've just been using the the web uh, version uh, of Gmail but this particular W mail seems to be uh, nice and convenient works pretty well uh, all you do is download it there's a link to download you'll go to their website you can download either the 1.31 or the 1.32. It's a pre-release on the 3.2, but I downloaded the 3.2 and it's working fine. Uh, you can download for Linux 32-bit, 64-bit Windows and Mac. So uh, they've got pretty much all the bases covered. Um, if Gmail is your mail client of choice, then you might want to take a look at it. The other thing I wanted to bring up, I noticed last night uh, that the Ubuntu forums have been hacked. Um, so if you're concerned about that, Canonical has issued a release stating that it was only the forum that was hacked. It has nothing at all to do with the operating systems. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is that they were hacked because according to the information online the, the they were hacked because they failed to apply a security patch so I would um, be a little bit concerned about their uh, responsiveness when it comes to security patches uh, I pulled up several pieces of information uh, on the internet 
and basically um, it, it's because no one bothered to install the patch at Ubuntu forums if you don't patch the software running on your website don't be surprised if a hacker compromises your system and makes off with your customers data now they were able to get IP addresses uh, user names um, but according to Canonical nothing that uh, should be of any issue uh, what the attacker could access uh, usernames, email addresses, and IP addresses for 2 million users. No active passwords were accessed. So it doesn't appear that there's been a, a, a lot of damage done. However, it, I think most of the damage is to Canonical's reputation because th we rely on them to make decisions concerning security to protect the users of their products and that includes the forum and their operating systems and so it's concerning to me that they may have uh, some lack of proper procedures internally these security patches should be applied as soon as they're available so uh, guys I just wanted to bring you up to date on the Battle.net situation um, I have been able to install in Debian as you can see here with Sparky Linux Sparky is running absolutely fine no issues at all um, on the driver manager I will say that um, with the the Broadcom and the NVIDIA. I installed the Broadcom using Driver Manager, but I didn't install NVIDIA using Driver Manager. I installed it the old-fashioned way. Um, because I found that using the Driver Manager, I had some problems. So I just went ahead and ins installed it uh, the way I normally do, and I've outlined that um, in a few videos. Uh, and, and it was fine. So I've got Broadcom, I've got NVIDIA, I've got Battle.net, everything else works fine, no issues whatsoever. So guys, that is it. Just a quick update. Uh, I hope you're uh, enjoying your weekend. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.